and then add in humans versus zombies, but not quite like infected. All the players, maybe they have to get to like a certain objective or something like they all have to like escape to a helicopter. Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the future of Warzone in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. We're gonna be talking about kind of like what I think that they should do with the game to keep it relevant and fresh and fun just in general. If you could please subscribe, leave a comment, and maybe even like the video, that would be pretty cool and I'd really appreciate it. So let's get into this video. So the first thing I wanted to start with was the possibility of a new Warzone map and also even adding in Black Ops um, maps into Warzone and maybe even like removing some areas that Infinity Ward has a uh, place already. So I mean looking back at um, Blackout, uh, you know you already have like a bunch of these different maps that they have from like previous Call of Duty games put into the game, um, put you know put into Blackout. Um, but I'm kind of thinking like with Warzone, I think it'd be really cool if Treyarch came in and just kind of like took out some of the crappier areas. I think if they could somehow take out, in my opinion, if they could like remove prison, remove city and remove um, hospital, if they could remove those three places and then put in maybe like a, uh, like a nuke town, put in a firing range. I know that those maps were used a lot, but they're used a lot because they're like the best maps that Treyarch has and they're just classics and they can maybe even throw in something bigger throw in a snow map throw in um what's that one map I think it's called WD from Blackout or from Black Ops 1 like WD WE or something but it was like that bigger uh snow map they could also throw in like derail they could throw in pretty much like any of like their older maps. I think that they should just like mix them up. I think for sure some snow maps would be really cool to have in the game. And also, I mean like looking at like a new Warzone um, map, just in general, like an entirely new Warzone area to play on. Um, looking at Blackout again, it's like, I do think that that map was actually pretty well designed. Um, so if they could, I mean like they already know like how to make maps. So I think they could just definitely make their own. And then with that, they could have like an OG, like a classic Warzone playlist where it's like the original map and then have like a new playlist with like an updated map that Treyarch has. And maybe even have like a, another mode that's, uh, it just cycles in either map. So you like select that mode um, and then you could get just either map and you are matchmaking. Okay, so hear me out for this next one. Um, for Blackout, my favorite mode to play was actually singles. Um, for whatever reason, the feel and the flow of singles in Blackout, for me personally, was great. I think that the map was just small enough and it was well designed enough where like you didn't feel like that you'd be shot from like all these different angles and everything. Whereas in Warzone, I hate playing singles, personally I do, and like my friends who play Warzone, I know that they all said that they hate playing singles because, you know, overall there are too many places where you can get shot from and that you can die from. So I think that for, you know, uh, for Warzone and Cold War, they should add um, like a different map for singles, but not like an entirely like, you know, custom made map just for singles. I'm thinking just take like the maps that they already have for twos and threes and fours um, and just like make it smaller, just like cut off the edges and just make it more condensed pretty much. Um, I think that way, uh, you know, there would be like less areas to possibly die from, maybe block out like areas like the city, like the hospital where there are like a lot of camping spots and everything and make it like a little bit more open where there are like less buildings overall for people to kill you from. So now I'm gonna get into game modes that I think that they should add in for Warzone. I think that they should have two different versions of 50 versus 50, or I mean like whatever else, like 60 versus 60, 40 versus 40, like something in that range, like a hyper, ground war but like you know taking place on the war zone map they should have one version where it's um you just drop down with only your pistol and then you have to like scavenge and run around and like you can do contracts you can find uh loot boxes and stuff and grab new guns and that's like what the whole mode is like and maybe even have guns just like laying around in hiding spots that you have to find and pick up i think that'd be really fun 
And then the other thing too is that they could have another mode that is, you know, another 50 versus 50, but this time you would have loadouts. I think that this would give a lot of players that only download Warzone and don't actually buy uh, Cold War, that would just give them more variety to play with. Because I mean, like after so many Warzone maps of Battle Royale, you just kind of get burnt out on that a little bit. So it'd be fun to give those players different modes to try out. And also a 50 versus 50 with your loadout classes, which is something that they did have in Modern Warfare. Um, if they had that in Cold War, that would just give an opportunity for Warzone only players to grind out um, camos and grind out attachments on different weapons. Because I mean, let's be real, it's too difficult to do that in just regular, uh, uh, in like a normal battle royale. I mean, it's certainly doable, but I mean like, just make a 50 versus 50 with a loadout and then it'll just be way easier to grind out those camos. Because like I have friends who um, only have Warzone and they never actually bought uh, Modern Warfare. And like, they'll be like, yeah, like I don't have any gold guns just because it's like too hard to get them to like that level, you know? Um, so I think that that would be like a really helpful way to, you know, boost players to get camos and grind out some of those higher level attachments. The next thing that I think that would be really cool for them to add would be Warzone with zombies. Now there are like a couple of different ways that they could do this. Like in Blackout, they just had certain areas that had zombies in them. And like the zombies never really did a whole lot. Like they would punch you for, I think literally one damage. So I mean like they're never that big of a factor. But something that I think that would be cool would be like have the cloud, you know, deal like its usual damage, but um, you know, like the cloud that circles in, it deals this usual damage, but then you also have zombies in the cloud. And if you venture too far out in the cloud and in, into the cloud, the zombies will start like chasing after you. I think that might be kind of cool. It'd be something kind of fun to experiment with, but then staying on the zombies topic, something that I think that would be even better would be to add in a mode that's 50 versus 50 or whatever, you know, something like that. And then add in humans versus zombies, but not quite like infected. Because you know, in infected, the zombies have like infinite lives. Um, but in this mode, it would be like the players would drop down and they have guns and then they have to like run around and loot for guns and stuff. But then the zombies, are just like already there on the ground waiting for players to drop, but not like right under them. Like they'd be like out in the distance where all the players like drop, you know, maybe in one area, then the zombies like run in on them. And the players are running around for guns and everything. And then the zombies have like super health, good speed, like a two hit melee kill, I think would be fair. Um, and then maybe like throw like a bone or something for like a one hit kill. And this would be a game mode where like all the players Maybe they have to get to like a certain objective or something like they all have to like escape to a helicopter or something like that. And everyone only has one life. So make it where it's like you have stronger zombies and everything. But then, um, you know, the players are trying to like complete an objective while the zombies are trying to kill all of you. So like the thing would be like try and get to the helicopter before the zombies kill all of you. I think that'd be kind of like a fun and neat idea. It'd be really different. It'd be kind of like infected, but it'd be like a different, you know, twist on it. You could even maybe add in too, like when you would die, you would turn into um, a zombie, but then you still only have one life. I think that'd be a really neat thing to add into Warzone. The next thing here, 100% um, they need to keep uh, the game modes in Warzone consistent. They need to always have ones, twos, threes, and fours for uh, Warzone. Because I know that there are stretches in Warzone's life cycle where they would like remove duos or something. So then like if it was only you and one other friend, you were forced to search in threes or fours and get like a random or get two randoms on your team who likely wouldn't even have a mic. Um, this is something that, you know, I don't really understand why Modern Warfare is doing it, but you know, they've been doing it now consistently for like a while now they've had all the game modes, but I think for Cold War, just keep all the modes in there. Don't, don't make them like a special, like fun, you know, mode where it'd be like, oh yeah, just for this weekend, we'll have singles in. So get in for singles. Like, no, just always keep singles there. I think that they could have like different party modes to have for, um, you know, that they could have for like a weekend exclusive or like a week long exclusive or something. But the ones, twos, threes, and fours, 
they need to just keep those in there consistently because there are so many players who when they go and play Warzone with their friends, like they'll have like one or two or three other people. And when their playlist isn't there to have like their full group of people and have it only be them, that's just really annoying because you know, when you're searching with your friends, like typically you don't really want like a random playing with you. With Warzone 2, I want them to keep in all of the current guns, but I want them to also add in uh, Black Ops Cold War guns. Now, like that won't really make sense for like the era of the game, but I think that that would just make, you know, Warzone itself more interesting. If you just have a larger pool of weapons to choose from, there's just more variety and it'll just make it more interesting. And like, you know, if you, if you gutted out all of like the original guns that uh, Infinity Ward had, um, not only, I mean, that would like radically change the meta from like what we're all used to, but also, like I said, that would just be like less guns to choose from and they're already in the coding for the game. Um, I know that uh, Treyarch is using the same altered engine that uh, that Infinity Ward used. So like, I wouldn't imagine that'd be too difficult to like have in those extra guns into it. So you just have like a whole bunch of different guns to choose from. And then the last thing here is kind of an interesting point because I don't really have any specifics for this that are just coming to mind, but something that I think that would be fun for them to just like kind of experiment with, and this would be great for like a one weekend type of thing or like a week long special event, but I think that they should add in some sort of like party mode type of thing in Warzone. Because I know in uh, Warzone now, we've had modes that were like, I don't remember what they're called to be honest, but I know that there were modes where it was like, you had infinite lives, you could drop with a loadout, but you have to like collect money and bring it to a certain area for your team, which I think that those would be fun to make a return game modes like that. But I'm thinking more like party modes, like maybe have everyone spawn in with just a crossbow or just a ballistic knife or something or like snipers only for a war zone or like zombies only, like everyone's a zombie and like they just have to melee each other um, or like something even like along the lines of like a prop hunt or something. I just think that uh, Treyarch should try and like add in some more party games, which I wouldn't be too surprised if they did because looking at their past Call of Duties, like Treyarch has always been, ever since like Black Ops 1, they've always had like some type of like party game added into their uh, multiplayer. I think more so with Black Ops 1, like they did have more so like uh, wager matches and stuff, but I would almost consider that like more of like a party-esque style uh, game mode because it was like gun game, and then you had like one in the chamber, just like something that was like really different from like the normal style of play. If they could add stuff like that to Warzone, I think that again, that would just be another great way to spice it up and, you know, to give those players just something else to play when they get kind of sick of the Battle Royale. Cause like you play Battle Royale, you will do that for like six or seven matches in a row. And then, you know, it'll be like two hours or whatever, you're getting a little tired. And then you just hop on like a 50 versus 50, like I said earlier, or you hop on to like one of these new uh, party modes and you do that for a bit. And then like you get sick of that, but now you feel refreshed to play some more battle royale. I just think that that'd be a great idea to add in. All right guys, that's going to do it for this video. In the comments below, tell me what you want to see coming up in Warzone and Black Ops Cold War. What do you want Treyarch to do? Do you want some party games? Do you want to see zombies in the mix? Do you want to see some more 50 versus 50s? Definitely let me know. I want to hear it. And if you could please subscribe and leave a like, that would seriously mean the world to me. All right guys, thanks for watching and take it easy.